A whit after day one at Boca Rio, surrendered 24 rounds of 68 or better. The golf course and, more importantly, Mother Nature bit back on Saturday. Chilly temperatures and Morgan blustery conditions made Boca Rio one tough test. It was a very different golf course from what the players have seen the first two days, especially the first day yeah. where there were a lot of birdies to be made. Today was the opposite. There were a lot of bogeys to be made out here. It was very challenging. We saw a lot of players struggle to control their golf balls both on and off the green. Very difficult day to putt as well. And Lydia Ko coming out on top, really staying patient through the round. Uh, had a little bit of a hiccup early on the seventh hole, which is playing as the hardest hole mm. out on the golf course all week. And then just stayed patient, kept doing her thing, kept giving herself opportunities, narrowly missing, but never really looked too rattled. The only, the longest putt we saw her have for par was the one that she made on the 18th. Yeah. And to have a two-shot lead as opposed to a one-shot lead going into tomorrow, I mean, that's... There's a big difference there. And they began tied. Kang and Lydia Ko, Danielle, last week's winner of the Hilton Grand Vacations Tournament of Champions, took that lead. She would bogey the fifth, but would come right back. And at the sixth, look at this beauty in the bluster. And here you can see how she tries to really control the ball flight straight into the wind, the sixth hole. There it is. And at times with the gusts, it just was a guessing game for how much wind there actually would be. We saw Danielle struggle to commit at times. Yeah, they made the turn with Kang up by two. With the code at the 10th, rolled that in for birdie. And on that same par five, Danielle Kang came up short with her approach on this par five, pitched to here and then this for par. This was the first stroke that didn't look, looked almost a wishy stroke. Club face open and lost it out to the right. On a day in which the scoring average was more than three strokes over par, Celine Boutier was bogey free. This was for birdie at the 16th, the third of her three birdies today. She would go on to shoot 69, six better in the field average than Lydia at the 14th. And the bunker left with her approach. Put that new putter in the bag this week, Grant, and it is working beautifully. Saved par at 17, and then at 18, fairway bunker, greenside bunker, blasted out to here. And no problem for Lydia Ko. Her lead is two over Danielle Kang, but Celine Boutier is right there. The two good friends. Ko and Kang will go at it in the final group again uh, Sunday. I, I think it'll be fun to watch. We'll see a little bit more of what we saw today. I think Danielle needs to head to the putting green and kind of work on some of those strokes. Definitely look like she was tended to cut her putts a little bit towards the end and struggled with the putter coming down the stretch. But I have no doubt that she'll find something out there on the putting green and we'll come out tomorrow ready to go. The conditions are expected to be similar to today, maybe even a touch colder. Winds gusting. Lydia Ko trying to win for a second consecutive season. Danielle Kang trying to win for a second consecutive week. And Celine Boutier, she came from behind to beat Jin Young Ko in NB Park in October at the ShopRite in 2021. And a bunch of great players, major champs and contenders with a chance.